this is Karen's stupidest videos because I did something funny, but when I got on here, it's not so freaking funny. Oh, 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 okay. Because I said, I come in, I'm like, honey, I've been out in the kitchen slaving away and making this for dinner. <laughs> no, no, see, my hair is all like, it's been falling out. And, um, <laughs> a lot. So I couldn't even give this dog here a bath. Like, I felt like doing shit anyway, if you don't look around, because it's a mess. <laughs> Whatever. It's not like people are just banging down my door saying, Yo, Karen, what's up? You want to go do something? Eat pizza? Drink with me? No, no. That doesn't happen in my world. So therefore, I drink alone. Sad but true. Speaking of sad but true, that's by Metallica, and I'm known for my music and my live performances. But I'm not always live. Sometimes I'm dead. So therefore I can't go live. So therefore I make a film. Yeah. Smart shopping at Walmart. <laughs> I don't know how I just kind of memorize some of this stuff when I just made it up as I went along. Just a little fragment. Hi. I was just making this Kraft macaroni and cheese. I think I had just stirring the cheese stuff. I don't know what it is. It's good. And uh, you can get it at Walmart for like 99 cents. And if you ration it out, you can feed three kids for lunch. And then you don't have to go to McDonald's. But you know who needs to go to McDonald's? Brad and Angelina. They need to just Pack up the kids in the old motorhome and head on over to Walmart and buy everybody a new pair of sweatpants and t-shirts and all the great things you can get there at a low and economical price, which is important when you're shopping for a family of nine. Gotta pinch those pennies, gotta make those payments on the fortress in France, costs about $70 billion. I'm still waiting for an invitation to the global kegger party they're going to have there, because what else are you going to do with this mansion of that size and magnitude? Just take pictures of it from the moon? I don't think so. And you know, this shit with them following them around with cameras and stuff, I mean, like I tried to tell them, I was like, you know, Brad used to have that grunge thing going for him, and Angelina, you know, you prettied it up too, and of course, if you look perfect, they're going to follow you around with cameras. So my advice would be this. Don't, don't bathe. <laughs> don't brush your hair. Don't brush your teeth. Don't even wear deodorant. Just be gross. And nobody's going to want to follow you around with cameras. That's pretty simple. Then you get your lives back. <laughs> you know? It's not perfect. I didn't plan this. As always, my videos are totally spontaneous. But you know who's on Instagram? And Johnny Depp did a movie with him. None other than Jeff Goldblum. Duh. <laughs> Hey, Jeff, congratulations on the baby. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Johnny Depp, on divorcing that mistake. <laughs> Miskank. <laughs> Miskank. Okay, see, this is the deal, people. <laughs> My grandmother used to tell me, when they still allowed me to talk to her, that pretty is as pretty does. Meaning, you're only as pretty as you do, as you are, as a person. It has nothing to do with your looks. You can look like a Barbie doll and be a bitch. And you can be, you know, a plain Jane, but you're an awesome person. You never know. But anyway, if I was to have to do the pretty is as pretty does with Amber Heard, I'd say she's a skank. <laughs> I was checking out one of her vids. She don't represent me. Some of us have been in a bad situation before and really had maybe domestic issues. Be careful of any of my exes out there. Anyway, especially the last one. But um, background checks, Florida, Alaska. That's all I got to say. Um, 
Johnny Depp didn't do that to that woman. So I took one of her vids. I'm not a victim is what came up. And I'm like, yeah, you're not a victim because nothing happened to you, sweetheart. And it, I, I've never, you know, I saw the Roman Diaries once years ago because Johnny's in it. And I just watch movies if, like, if he's in it, if I get around to it. Because I don't watch TV. I don't really watch movies. You know, I just, I met Johnny on Facebook years ago. I, I um, have a celebrity badge I hide. Because social media has not always been good to me. But, um, I, I, Bill Clinton commented on my shotgun photo that I had sexy legs. It's Bill Clinton, I can't pay him for you. Al Gore, hmm, I talked to Al Gore about the environment. Oh, Tommy Lee Jones, he was your roommate in Harvard. Okay. And so on. I said, who else is on this site? Because I was one of the first idiots on there. I never wanted a computer for so many reasons. Kiss my ass, Google, and <laughs> Big Brother, whoever you are. But, um, yeah, you know, I freaking found all these people. And they said, oh, she makes fake profiles. Whatever. I don't. I, I, you know, I proved Clint Eastwood, and beyond that, I proved <laughs> people I wasn't even trying. Jack Nicholson, Al Pacino, Bruce Willis, Chris Walken, you were pretty cool. Too bad you got to a movie with this bitch. But anyways, you know, I'd marry him in a heartbeat. Because I think Johnny Depp, from what I've seen, is the nicest man ever. He's, um, he's phenomenal as a person. I mean, I, the more I see him, the more I care about him. I just feel kind of retarded sometimes when I'm posting things and I'll say, like, I love him or I want to marry him. And he's got so many fans and top heads and whatnot. You know, it's all new to me, this fame stuff or whatever. But, um... Now, it's nice that people are supporting him because I came back into the internet world, so to speak, and uh, recently, I'm like, what's going on? I thought it, everybody loved Johnny Depp. I only disappeared because he wound up with Amber, and I don't think that was the intention either. Anyway, um, yeah. Australia, the Pirates of the Caribbean in Australia, huh? Okay. I don't think that, no, that, that, that Australian dog apology is so priceless that, you know, something might have actually made that not happen, I'm thinking, though. Anyway, um, you know, I'm sure he's out probably celebrating or whatever. I thought he was celebrating a long time ago on Sunset Boulevard or something. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> In case I haven't told you, I don't know anything. I have all this college and awards and fighting it and whatnot, but I don't know anything. At least about, you know, TV, movies, whatever, you know. But, you know, I try. I used to back in the day, actually. Um, okay, just checking my time before YouTube gets, <clears throat> get your ass off of here. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I was outside. I was outside. That's as far as I go. Um, yeah, I've been coming up with all these jokes and whatever lately. Um, my thoughts. Jokes. <laughs> no, okay. There's a picture on Instagram or whatever that I've seen around where Jenny Depp has... My body is like my journal and my tattoos are my story type thing. And, you know, I knew that about him. You know why? Because I didn't know who he was. But one time in Facebook, I don't know what I did, but there was this diary journal. Somebody was writing. I'm not nosy, so I didn't want to really read it. But um, pictures, tattoos. You know, I got tattoos. <laughs> and, um, you know, what they meant, whatever. I knew this guy gets his tattoos, his beautiful tattoos for an important reason. Up till lately. But anyways. I remember Cherokee Indian and, and stuff about it, you know. So I'm like this guy's probably Cherokee Indian. And he has lots of tattoos and he keeps a journal and blah blah blah, you know. But one night I I guess it's kind of blurry to me. It was years ago. And um Oh hi, I'm Johnny Depp. Uh, I I met new celebrities or whatever sometimes that 
Okay, you're famous for what? But this guy didn't even know his name. I just never heard of him. Weird. I knew about Robert Downey Jr. And I don't know about a lot of people. But I knew him really well. I thought one day me and Robert, we're on some sort of parallel life thing, I felt like. And one day Robert Downey Jr. and I are going to meet. We're just going to be like really, really good friends because we're smart ass, whatever. We're almost the same age. You know, sorry you had to be born April 4th. My mom's birthday. <laughs> 65, but I'm June 24th, 66, which Johnny's June 9th, 63. I'm not 14. <laughs> you know, that's a good thing. Not that he doesn't appreciate teenage fans, but he shouldn't be messing with teenagers. <laughs> um, why am I even doing this? Because I, I wasn't sure I wanted to go live or whatever. I don't know. Um, because I can't ever save anything I do live, partly, but, um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just Karen, <laughs> I'm just Karen, Karen Lynn's reality, hashtag, <laughs> you got that, hashtag, Karen Lynn's reality, that's me. <laughs> you can find me a lot of times. Karen Lynn Crozier, Karen Crozier, Karen Lynn Depp. <laughs> Mrs. John, no, the new Mrs. Depp. <laughs> but you know why? Because I know who he is. As a person, I, as a matter of fact, I, I started watching him and Tim because I'd heard of Burton from uh, Beetlejuice and stuff. And Laura Harrow, um, you know, the chick in Beetlejuice. <laughs> That's how I met her, actually, but um, she wrote about meeting Tim Burton for the first time in her journal and posted it years ago, and I read it, how she um, came for her audition for Beetlejuice, and um, she was real nervous, and there was Tim up against the wall looking like Tim, <laughs> you know, not the director dude she's expecting so she in her darkness and whatnot you know no no and you know Burton so you know she she hustles up next to him on the wall I'm thinking what's you doing here well, I'm here to meet Tim Burton and I'm scared <laughs> you know so oh yeah he knows he's Tim Burton but she doesn't and he doesn't look like she expects so she like yaps with him all afternoon until he finally is like, I'm Tim Burton. <laughs> it freaks her ass out. It's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> I I got nothing against any of Johnny's exes except when no, I'm not, when no, 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 Amber Heard. No, Amber Heard. She's, she's just skank, go back to your lady friends. First time I looked at one of her pictures after all, I, I didn't know what would happen even. I just... I think she's fucking these girls. <laughs> you know, why? I don't know. She's got Johnny Depp, for God's sakes. She's evil, man. She's evil like my mother. My mother. Who, on the 18th, will be four years of no birthdays of my son, Julian Crozier. And my mother, Kathleen King, and her bastard husband, Gary King, in Sebring, Florida, took tired of her stealing from me and anyway I don't want to be a downer <laughs> no I'm I'm happy um, for for Johnny Depp and I love him always he's an awesome person plain and simply he's an awesome person being a great actor that's wonderful but sometimes it's a pain in the ass because it's hard to get a hold of but bye-bye, everybody.